because we are in a race against time. Oh, I'm just a bill, and I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. <laughs> remember that shit when you were a kid? I, I mean, some, some people are old enough to remember it. It used to be these uh, cartoons that used to teach people about civics. Yeah. You used to learn, like, sit on Sunday morning, eat your, eat your bowl of bowl of fucking Cheerios, right? And you and you watch the cartoons, and they they teach you about you know they teach you about the American politics. Right? We don't have that anymore, right? We got fucking right. We don't have that. I don't know if we have that. If we had that, we certainly wouldn't have what we just got with. Uh, this is, this is, you can't make this shit up. This is really funny. It's, it's funny at her expense. So, <clears throat> Alessandria Ocasio Cortez. Ah, new congresswoman, right? Fucking new congresswoman, right? She's qualified, right? Definitely qualified. She's a bartender. She's like, she's, like, she's fucking qualified. Shit. It's like, so, so, yeah, well, back to, you know, just when I was a kid, this is how I learned. Right? Check this shit out, man. You fucking love this shit. Right? Remember this? I'm going to sing over because I don't want to get copyright strike and so you can play this shit. I'm just it's a bill. bill. Yes, I'm only yeah, a bill. bill. And I got as far as Capitol Hill. Well, now I'm stuck in committee and I'll sit here and wait while a few key congressmen discuss and debate Remember the shit? whether they should let me be. So awesome. I'll pray that they will, but today I am still just a bill. Oh, damn. Ooh. Listen to those congressmen arguing. Is all that discussion and debate about you? Yeah, I'm one of the lucky ones. Most bills never even get this far. I hope they decide to yeah, I hope I'm free. Otherwise, I may die. Uh, I might die. die. Representatives and they vote on me. If they vote yes, what happens? Then I go to the Senate and the whole thing starts all over again. Oh no! Oh yeah! Right. So, so he's just a bill, right? It's just a bill sitting on Capitol Hill, right? So you, you learn, right? You just learned about how a bill it kind of goes from an it's an idea and it becomes a bill and then it goes through you know the House of Representatives and 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 then to the to the to the Senate. And then the president signs it. You remember all this shit, man? That's how you learned about, about civics, right? Oh, by the way, I got to introduce, because we're talking about youth and, and, and uh, cartoons and shit. See this? You can't, this is something you can't goof on. Right? This is my fucking, oh, it's my grandmother's, it's my grandmother's uh, uh, hand-woven um, blanket. Right? She made this shit. Right? She also made the hat. See that hat right there? Those are the two things I have for my grandmother. Handmade, right? I love this thing. It's fucking, she made this for me. I don't remember when, but she would be in her hundreds now. You know, she died maybe 15 years ago. I love that shit. It's my fucking, it's my favorite, one of my favorite possessions. So you saw this, this, um, it brings me back to childhood, you know, when I hear those songs. I'm just a bill. And I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. There's a lot of them, right? You learn, right? I, and this is this is sad because we're gonna watch. Obviously, as Alessandra Ocasio Cortez didn't watch cartoons as a kid, and certainly they don't teach it anymore in school, right? Civics, right? It's a it's a colossal fucking blunder, right? We were so happy that we got. You know, the, I wasn't happy, but there's plenty of people that are so happy. Oh, she's young and she's beautiful and she's a progressive. Oh my God, she, I can't believe it. Oh my God, how's it going? Fucking Casio Cosens. Let's listen to what she has to say. Man. It's just like, it's just like, fucking. Oh, it's painful to watch, man. So check this shit out, man, and um, come back and talk about it. What we really need is that should we, and if we work our butts off, to make sure that we take back all three chambers of Congress, uh, rather all three chambers of government, the presidency, the Senate, and the House in 2020, we can't start working in 2020. We need to have a bill right there, ready to go, drafted, that it's something that can be passed within the, the first 100 days of a new, new presidential administration, because we are in a race against time. So there you have it, right? She'll, she's, she's gonna, she wants to... Work her butt off. We need to work our butts off to take back 
all three chambers of Congress. To make sure that we take back all three chambers of Congress. Right. Uh, in fairness, she, she corrected herself. She caught herself, right? She caught herself saying all three chambers of Congress, rather all three chambers of government. Uh, rather all three chambers of government, the presidency, the Senate, and the House. Right? That's what she said, right? All three chambers of government, the presidency, the Senate, and the House. That's not me saying it. That's her saying it, right? So is she right? Is that the, are those the three? <laughs> I know people gaslighted these days. They don't even know what, they don't even know politics anymore. They don't even know the, their own constitution and what the, what the, the, the separations of power are. It's like, we don't teach, we don't teach our kids this anymore. And one of them just ran for, for Congress here in New York and is now the sitting Congress, Congresswoman. One of 435 people that make decisions on you and me. And this is, this is who you got now, right? How they squeak by, right? So what are the three chambers of Congress? <laughs> there aren't. There's two chambers of Congress, right? The Senate and there's the House, right? But what she's trying to say is the three chambers of power, right? Which one did she leave out? Right? She, said, she said the presidency. <laughs> but that's not true. The president is the, is the top of which one? It's the top of the executive branch. The three chambers of, of power, three chambers of, you know, separations of power is, is, is the executive branch. That's the president and uh, the CIA, the FBI, and all the government uh, agencies, U.S. government agencies fall under the jurisdiction of the executive branch. And the president is the leader of that. Right? And then the other chambers are the, the legislative branch, which is Congress and Senate. Right? That's the, that, so that's, that's two. You got the legislative. What's the, what's the one she missed? It's the ju judicial. <laughs> she doesn't even fucking know that there's, there's, like, there's another branch with, with judges. Right? Right? She, she didn't, is it possible that she's the senator? A Congress, sitting congresswoman, she doesn't know that there's a judicial branch, like the judges, and and that they 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 each keep each other in check. We 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 have a laugh at her expense, but really it's 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 a disgrace, you know. It's a disgrace that that this person was allowed to to run, and people championed behind her because they closed their eyes, they shut their eyes, and they so they so want oh a woman, a young beautiful woman. Oh my God, it's fucking so beautiful. She's from Queens, she's Puerto Rico. Oh, Puerto Rico. Uh, so they, get, they get so caught up in the emotion, right? It's the emotion. So why don't you look at the fucking facts, man? Why don't you look at the facts? Why don't you sit the bitch down and watch some fucking cartoons, man? Right? We got cartoons for this. A cartoon could have solved the problem. Cartoons. Right? It, also, it also says, it also says the, it, 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 it exemplifies the deep ignorance in this country in terms of the way we teach civics right see gas part of gaslighting part of the uh the monopoly right the oligarchy that has replaced the united states constitution see those are the three levels of power right there's judicial there's executive and then there's there's uh, uh legislative right and above it is supposed to be the con the the constitution of the united states of america and that and those rules rain down and these people are supposed to you know they're supposed to to, to use the, to have the constitution guide them and then the people the, the, you know but but that constitution up there is now replaced by big business, right? The big businesses, the monopolies, the, the, the you know, the, the banks, the Lloyd Blank lines and the fucking, you know, and the Jamie Price, the Jamie Diamonds of the world, right? Jamie Price, of the world, right? All the, all the, the oligarchs, the money fucking grabbers, give me the fucking money, guys. Give me that fucking money, money, fucking money. Give me the money, fucking money, right? That's who's running the show, right? There is no constitution anymore, right? And, and it's not taught anymore. So, so. So, so, so people don't even know fucking nothing. They don't know anything anymore. And you get, and then, and then time passes, and you get a congresswoman like this. And this is what we got now, right? Congratulations, America. 